Hello everybody, it's Jeff with AZ Camera Reviews, and today I'm going to be talking about another one of my favorite subjects, tripods. I ended up buying this one from Geekodo, and the reason why I bought this tripod uh, was because I wanted a tripod and I've been using monopods uh, to travel with because they're smaller and lighter than most tripods. But now with carbon fiber tripods as they are, um, it's easier to get a smaller carbon fiber tripod that basically does everything that a regular monopod does. Now, in the past you saw me do a shoot off between the Manfrotto and the Siri. Uh, this is the uh, Siri tripod uh, case that I usually use, and the Siri tripod is inside of here. Um, the Siri is about, is about one pound heavier than this is, but this um, is actually a tripod, whereas that's a monopod. Uh, we're going to open this up. We're going to check out. We're going to see what's inside the box, and um, we're going to probably compare it to the monopod because um, when I'm traveling, I usually like to put everything inside of one suitcase so I can carry it on board with me. And the Siri doesn't fit real well. So that's kind of what prompted me to get something else. So let's look inside the box. Let's see what we've got. This is a Geekodo and it's, a, uh, it's the Model 25. Um, I think it's a CT25 Pro and it's an all carbon tripod, uh, carbon fiber, and it will convert into a monopod also. The only problem is when you do use it as a monopod, it doesn't have the little legs that uh, fold out on the bottom. And possibly uh, the folks at Geekoto will come up with some sort of answer to do that. First of all, we've got this really, really nice Cordura bag. It feels pretty sturdy. The uh, the zipper is pretty good. Um, it's not a YKK, but uh, seems to be a good zipper. And inside, uh, the first thing I've got here is a small bag, which has um, three pieces of paper, or two pieces of paper inside. Let's open up, see what we have. We've got a small brochure, which kind of shows the other products that they make. Uh, tripods, lighting equipment, and uh, LED light panels. And you also have the instructions. There's a user, user manual for, for the actual tripod itself. And then there's a small Allen key, uh, which is included. So we'll put that aside. Let's see what else is here. Then there's another bag. And this has a small metal tube that's got um, 3 8 inch threads on both sides. And we'll find out what that goes to after. And we've got a small 3 8 inch um, bolt or nut with, uh, with a nut in the middle of it. And we'll find out what that's for once we get this all together. So the actual case has, has an end to it. It zips up about... Um, I'd probably say all the way up to at least um, seven eighths of the way. And uh, that part of it is so that uh, when you want to um, store it, I guess with the head side up, you can. Uh, but anyway, you can store your tripods any way you want. So here it is, we'll pull it out of the bag and um, it seems to be well made. Like I said, it's carbon fiber. And then down here at the bottom, there's a little velvet bag. And my guess is that the head is inside this bag. Okay, which it is. Let's talk about the camera head on the CT25 Pro. Now, it has a graduated scale that goes from zero to 330. And when you go all the way back to here, that would be 360 degrees. If you wanna do a nice pan with this, what you'll do is you'll unscrew this knob and you can do a really nice, nice, smooth pan with this. 
Okay. Now, you'll also notice that there's this little area right here that's machined out in this aluminum. There's a, there's a knob right here on the side. What you'll do is you'll unscrew this and this will allow your camera to drop down, okay? Now, you could be shooting the ground or you could be shooting whatever with this, or what you can do is you can twist it this way and you can put your camera into the portrait mode and then you would lock this down, okay? Now, another great thing about this tripod is, is this bubble level. Now, the bubble level, as you know, will work when you're up in this uh, position. But also, here's something else. The camera plate comes off like this. Okay, you, you loosen it up, you tilt it to the side, and you take it off, okay? Now, also, you remember that Allen key? That Allen key fits the top of this mount for the camera plate. So if at any time you want to mount something else onto this, this ball, you can do it if you want to use another type of camera plate. So in order to put the plate back on the mount, what you'll do is you slide it in like this, you put your camera into the side, and you click it in, and then you tighten it down. Let's look at the legs. Let's see how the legs work. Basically, um, what you're going to do is the tripod came like this with the head nestled in between the legs. And what's going to happen is, I guess, the legs will open up and then they'll lock into position. So we'll bring the leg down and there's three little detents in here. I'm going to put it on the second one. And two, two. Okay, so now we've got our tripod in the basic configuration and it's blocking my face, uh, which is probably not a bad thing. And uh, you can see um, how it goes, goes up. Uh, there's a small little twist here. And by unscrewing this, you can bring your center up and down. And then you can lock it just by turning this knob. Now, I'll do some close-ups on this, so then that way um, you will be able to see what I'm talking about. I'll, I'll insert the shots, so it'll make it easier for you. Uh, so now, something that they talk about is that it will also convert into a monopod. So there's three legs. One leg has got a foam pad on it. And what you would end up doing is, is unscrewing this. So you take this one leg off, okay? And then what you want to do is, you want to pull the head off. Now there's a small screw here. So you're going to unscrew this. Okay, and you want to take your head off. Now what you'll end up doing is you'll unscrew this knob right here, pull this through, okay? And now you've got your two pieces that you're going to be able to put together. So you're going to take this uh, th um, 3 8 inch screw, you're going to screw it into the bottom of this center column piece, and you're going to screw that into here. But you have to make sure you've got enough. So what you'll do is you'll measure it out so that you have enough between both of these to be able to screw them together. Okay? So now you've got that together. Now at the end of this, there's a little L. And what you'll do is you'll unscrew this Pull this off, take your tripod head, screw the tripod head in, 
Okay, now you've got your monopod. And what you can end up doing is you can extend your feet and you've got this easy to use monopod. So let's collapse this. Put this back together. Unscrew this part. Okay. Let's put the leg back on. Now I'll show you something else. Now, if you want to be able to utilize the center column and go up an, an extra couple of feet, you've got, you've got this right here, okay? And this part extends also. So this little handy dandy piece that they put in uh, the kit, what you'll do is you'll take this piece and screw that into the bottom of the center column, okay? Now, unfortunately, they don't talk about this piece in the instructions, so I don't, I don't know why they don't talk about it, but um, it's important because it will allow you to now put this inside this piece, and you can you can go up, it allows you to do that. But also, if you wanna go ultra, ultra low, what you can do is you can unscrew this from here. You can unscrew this from the actual base of this, go on to here. Okay, hang on one second. I didn't unscrew this enough. There we go. And now if you want to use this as like a hot pot or something, what you can do is you can come over here, you can take this leg, go down to lowest point, okay, go low, low. And now you can almost have like a, a hi-hat type of um, low angle tripod. So that's another way you can use this. Now there's one third way you can use this is you can, I'm gonna go back to the center detent position, like so. I'm gonna pull this center piece out. Okay, I'm gonna unscrew this. Now, you can do one of two things. You can come up through the bottom. You can hook your camera underneath and then you could do some really, really, let me tighten this up. You can do some nice close-up work. Hang on. Like this. Well, what you'd want to do is turn this sideways. And you do this. Okay and then you can do some really, really low end copy work. Or if you wanna extend the legs and you wanna put this back together the way it goes normally, pull this off, put this head back through, okay. Take this one out. I'm sorry if you can't see that. Let's put this one back in, like so. And then what you can do is you can still have the same, same effect, but also if you wanna bring your tripod up, maybe one leg, like so. I got a very tight area here, so. Uh, bear with me. Uh, what we can do is we could bring this down and you could shoot like this 
okay? Let me turn it sideways so you can see it. Or if you wanted to shoot with your camera low and in the, the other mode, you could take it, bring it straight down like this and shoot this way. So, okay, uh, so these are the, the different ways you can shoot with this tripod. Now I was gonna tell you a little bit about why I decided to buy this tripod as opposed to buying the, um, or liking the Siri. Let's, let's just take this, I, I'm trying not to go really, really long on this, but you know, sometimes it takes a little time in order to show people things. So like when I wanna travel, Something that I, I, I like to do, like I said, is I like to stick the camera um, tripod in a suitcase with the rest of my gear. So, uh, let's put this back together again. Okay, go down through here. Oh no, excuse me, we'll go back through here. Let's invert the legs. Let's put the head back on. It's really pretty easy. It, it, it seems like it's taking a lot longer, but I just got this thing. I just took it out of the box. So uh, it takes, takes a little bit to learn how to use this stuff. Let's put the velvet case back on. Okay. Got that back on there. Okay, and let's close this up. And last but not least, there's this piece right here, which is where the other screw goes in. Let's put that back in there. Gonna have to bring it out a little more, like so. Okay, close this down. Okay, so here's, here's the, this total tripod, which is actually a stable tripod, um, totally closed down. This is 19 inches. Okay, now let me pull up my Siri. Okay, where's the zipper? Here it is. Now here's the Siri versus this tripod, okay? This is 19 inches. This one here is almost 28. So getting it into a suitcase is kind of difficult. So uh, that was one of the reasons I decided on this. This also is about four pounds. This is five pounds. In order to be able to put this tripod or monopod in my suitcase, I, what I have to do is, I have to open this thing up, I have to unscrew this. So I can get the legs off of it. This basically closes down to about this size once you take the legs off, but then you've got an extra pair of legs you have to deal with. And then it's kind of like, I don't know if you guys can see this, but you have to really, really play with it in order to get it into the suitcase. Whereas with this, once it's closed up, let me push this back down, all closed up. I mean, look at how easy that just goes right in. No problem. It's so much easier. Now, I just wanted to show you on close-up, this is how easily it goes into the suitcase. You just, you just tilt the end forward and push down, and it's in the suitcase. That's why I like this. It's easier to use. It's lighter. It's got a, a lot smaller profile. When you're carrying it, you just put it in the case, like so, zip it up. and you're good to go, okay? Whereas with this one, when you're carrying it, it's heavier. This thing is pretty bulky. 
I still like it, but I, I think I'm gonna like that one a heck of a lot more. So, okay, let's just tighten that up. And that goes in here. So you've got that versus this. What would you take? And this is four pounds. This is five pounds. This is carbon fiber. It's both a real tripod and the monopod. This is just a monopod with legs. So what do I think of the Geekodo CT25 Pro? I think it's a great little tripod. It's only 19 inches, which you can't beat. You can throw it right in a suitcase. It's small, it weighs four pounds. And if you take a look at this photograph, I couldn't uh, use my video camera to shoot this because it was so, so wide and my room is so small. The tripod actually to the very, very top when it's fully extended is 82 inches to the top plate, which is pretty awesome. Anyway, I like this a lot and the flexibility is incredible. Uh, you can take this part and you can make it into a monopod by utilizing this part in the center column, screwing them together. You've got a great little monopod. Uh, you, can, you can take the head off and you can use it inverted or you can use it on the top of the tripod. It's very, very versatile. Um, the fluid head on this is great. I was able to do some really nice pan shots with it. And um, overall, I think it's a great little tripod and it's carbon fiber. Now the one little point that I would like to change and maybe the manufacturer will be able to change this, easy fix would be inside this bag, they could really use a little zippered compartment. And the reason why I think they need to put in a little zippered compartment is these two parts. If you lose them, you're sunk. You need this, this screw right here to be able to put the monopod onto the bottom of the center column. And then you need this to put on the center column to be able to raise it up to its full height. So if they fix that, they'll have an excellent, excellent top-notch product. Not the product that the product is bad now. It's excellent as it is but this would just be a great little added improvement. Anyway, I'm Jeff with AZ Camera Reviews saying, please watch us, please like us, please share us, and most of all, please subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.